Hi, I'm Nantara Kulhapuri Suresh, and today I will be presenting my paper on PR performance of different digital modulation schemes for additive white cosinoids, relay, and Russian channels. Firstly, let's look at the agenda. Introduction, additive white cosinoids, relay, and Russian channels, PPSK modulation, quadrature amplitude modulation, BPSK and QOM for all the three channels, FSK, PSK, DPSK, O, QPSK, PN, and for all the three channels, finally conclude. Introduction. Health has become a very serious issue. Analysis of the health monitoring devices highly depends on the efficiency of the network systems. Health monitoring can be made very convenient to a patient by monitoring the health of the patient on their personal devices like mobile phones or desktop. Efficient transmission of these tra devices is very crucial. Hence, the selection of the most efficient transmitter is important. Transmitter efficiency or the quality, it is measured in terms of bit error rate or packet error rate. The goals of a digital communication system design is to have the least possible probability error and achieve the most effective channel bandwidth. Outage probability. This occurs when the probability falls below the threshold for a given signal to noise ratio. Fading channels. What is fading? Fading is the distortion experienced by the carrier modulated signal as it traverses a certain path. Multipath induced fading. Fading is more prominent in multipath propagation. Small scale fading. Three examples are Rayleigh, Rishin, and Nakagami. In our paper, we only deal with Rayleigh and Rishin fading channels. Additive white Gaussian noise. It is one of the simplest noise that any signal can get. When a signal propagates through a channel, a small amount of noise gets added to the signal. This noise is the white Gaussian noise. Let us consider the equation R of t is equal to S of t plus N of t, where S of t it is the real value of the equation U of t, and N of t it is the additive white Gaussian noise. The Gaussian probability distribution function of additive white Gaussian noise it is given by the equation with the mean value of zero and variance is equal to n naught by two, where n naught is the spectral power density. Relay fading channel. Relay fading module can be assumed to comprise of the sum of all the scattered signals received at the receiver from many paths and the reflected signals. It is used for modeling signals of ionosphere and troposphere. In urban environments, this model is used for modeling radio signals. Let us consider the equation y is equal to x1 square plus x2 square, where x1, x2 are independent Gaussian random variables with a mean value of 0 and variance for in-phase and quadrature components. The Gaussian probability distribution function for Rayleigh fading channel is given by the equation as shown, where y is a g-square distribution having double degree of freedom. Rishian fading channel. Scattered signals from different paths are received. One of the signal changes, either it is shortening or lengthening. Stronger line of sight. This occurs when it is Rishian fading. The line of sight it is a stationary component. Unlike really fading channel, Rishian fading channel is a non g square centric. Consider the equation s square is equal to m1 square plus m2 square, where m1 and m2 are random Gaussian variables. The Gaussian probability distribution function of Russian fading channel it is given as below. Now let us talk about the digital modulation scheme. Firstly, binary phase shift scheme. It is one of the simplest form of phase shift scheme. It is also known as phase reversal scheme or 2 PSK. The phases are separated by 180 degrees with a maximum rate of modulation of 1 bit per symbol. The block diagram of the transmitter for a BPSK it is shown. The input signal it is given to the BPSK modulator. The noise gets added to that signal which is then demodulated in the BPSK demodulator stage. The constellation diagram for BPSK it is as shown in the figure. The two points are as shown 
and they are at a phase difference of 180 degrees. PPSK can be modeled using Simulink. The block diagram of PPSK for Simulink it is as shown in the figure. The input is generated from random integer generator which is then given to BPSK modular baseband which does the phase shift gain. This signal gets added onto the noise in the additive white causing noise channel. The noise plus the modulated signal it is then demodulated in the BPSK demodulator baseband which is then given to the error rate calculation block. In the error rate calculation block, the demodulated signal and the input signal are compared to give the error rate. And finally, we can see the output. The input signal, which is being generated by the random integer generator block, it is a pulse function. The output of the error rate calculation, it is a step function and a uniform function. Next, let us look at quadrature amplitude modulation. It supports both analog and digital modulation schemes. It transmits two message signals by changing the amplitude of the carrier signal using amplitude shift key and amplitude modulation. The carrier signals have a phase difference of 180 degrees and hence the name quadrature. The final waveform of a QAM can be assumed to be the sum of phase shift key and amplitude shift key for digital systems or the sum of phase modulation and amplitude modulation for analog systems. Now let us look at the transmitter and receiver of QA. At the transmitter, the input signal it is broken down to two equal paths using amplitude shift key. One of them it is multiplied with a cosine function to give the in-phase component. The other one is multiplied with sine function to give the quadrature component. These two signals are then added to give the final signal that has to be transmitted. Here, F0 is the carrier frequency and the filter response is HD. At the receiver, the received signal it is split into two. One of them it is multiplied with a cosine function to give the in-phase component and the other is multiplied with sine function to give the quadrature component. These signals are then passed to a low bandpass filter with a frequency response of HD. Then the signals are passed to the amplitude shift keying demodulator to give the original signal. The constellation diagram for 16QM and 64QM is as shown in the figures. Now let us look at the other digital modulation schemes. Frequency shift key. A signal is transmitted by frequency modulation of the carrier signal. One of the famous frequency shift key is binary frequency shift key, wherein the frequency pairs are used to transmit zeros and ones. Zeros give the mark frequency and ones give the space frequency. Next, phase shift key. Modulation of the phase of the signal, wherein each phase represents a binary digit, which is done by the modulator. The team modulator decodes the phases to map to the signal. Constellation points are places around the circle at a uniform angle. In the demodulator section of the phase shift key, the received signal is decoded and it is not compared to the original data to recreate the symbol that was being transmitted. Thus, it is more prone to erroneous modulation. The difference in the phase of the received signal is what gives us differential phase shift key. Offset quadrature phase shift key. It is one of the phase shift key variants. It uses four phases of the signal to transmit, but only two is used at a time. Thus, the signals are out of phase by 180 degrees. Odd and even bits are offset by one bit period. This is to ensure that in-phase and quadrature components never change at the same time. Pulse amplitude modulation. It is an analog modulation technique which changes the amplitude of the carrier signal. At the modulator, the demodulator detects the amplitude of the carrier of each symbol period. Now, let us look at the simulation analysis of the BR performance for 
all the digital modulation schemes. Firstly, let us look at BPSK. For BPSK, BER it is plotted against signal to noise ratio for additive white Gaussian noise, Rayleigh, and Russian channels. It can be seen from the figure that Rayleigh stimulated it is very similar to Rayleigh theoretical. And Russian channel gives a better performance when compared to rail. And it is obvious from the figure that additive bias Gaussian noise gives a way better channel when compared to Russian and rail. The BR performance for 16QAM and 64QAM it is shown in the two figures. In both the figures, it is pretty evident that. Russian feeding channel gives a better performance when compared to Rayleigh feeding channel. And when all three are compared, additive white causing noise gives a better performance when compared to the other two feeding channels. Now let us look at the BR performance of the modulation schemes for all the other schemes for a white causing noise. From the figure, we can see that frequency shift gain has the least bit error rate, thus giving a better performance. Whereas DPSK, it has the highest bit error rate. Next, we will see the BR performance for these modulation schemes using Rayleigh fading channel. From the figure, it can be seen that pulse amplitude modulation has the highest bit error rate when compared to Offset quadrature of phase shift gain, which gives the least bit error rate, thus giving a better performance when compared to the other modulation schemes. Next, we will look at the BR performance of the modulation schemes for Russian fading channel. Again, from the figure, we can see that for full amplitude modulation, the bit error rate is very high when compared to that for offset quadrature phase shift gain. Thus, Offset quadrature phase shift gain gives a better performance when compared to all the other modulation schemes. Finally, we can conclude that the selection of the modulation scheme it depends on performance characteristics. The choice comes with a trade-off in hardware and performance. For all the modulation schemes, additive white causing noise gives a better performance when compared to the other two feeding channels. And for all the feeding channels, BPSK and quadrature phase shift gain gives a better performance when compared to the other modulation schemes. These are the references which were used for the completion of the project. Now let us look at the code and the demo. Firstly, let us look at the code for PPSK. Here, the signal to noise ratio is being varied from 0 to 42 in terms of 1. This value can be made smaller to get more accurate values for Rayleigh simulators, which can be compared to the Rayleigh theoretical value. The BPSK modulator is encoded, the noise is added, which is given through the Gaussian link. And finally, at the demodulator, the BPSK signal is demodulated, the error bits are calculated, we also do the BR performance for Russian fading channel. And finally, the graphs are plotted. These give the bit error rate probabilities for different values of SNR, which are incrementing in terms of 1 from 0 to 42. It can be seen from the figure. We can run it again. It can be seen from the figure that the really simulated value is very closely related to the Rayleigh theoretical value and the Russian gives a better performance when compared to Rayleigh and EWG gives a better performance when compared to Russian and Rayleigh. Now, 
Let us look at QAM for a modulation factor of 16. Similar to BPSK, here the signal to noise ratio is incremented by 1 from 0 to 10. The normalizing factor it is given as square root of 1 by 10 for a 16 QAM modulator. The noise is added which is given to the Gaussian link. At the demodulator the signal has been demodulated. The bit LED has been calculated and we also do the BR performance for Russian fading channel and the graphs are plotted. We can see from the figure that Russian gives a better performance when compared to Rayleigh and AWGN gives a better, better performance when compared to the other two. Similarly, we can say that for QAM also, Russian gives a better performance when compared to Rayleigh and AWGN gives a better performance when compared to the other two channels. This can be seen from the graphs. And finally, for the other digital modulation schemes, we have used the BR tool which gives uh, the BR performance for AWGN, for uh, Rayleigh channel and for Russian channels. As the figure 3 shows the comparison of the digital modulation schemes for Russian fading channel. The figure 2 shows the VR performance for different modulation schemes for relay fading channel. And figure 1 shows the VR performance for different modulation schemes for AWGM channel. Now, let us look at the Simulink of VPSK. model for BPSK Simulink, it is as shown. As already mentioned, the input is generated by the random integer generator which is given to BPSK modulator baseband which does the phase shift gain and then the noise gets added onto the signal in the, the additive byte causing noise channel and the signal is then demodulated in the BPSK demodulator baseband. Now this demodulator signal, it is compared against the input signal to calculate the error rate. Let us look at the input and output. We will run it first and then we will look at the input which is a pulse function and then we will also look at the output. Which give us the step function and the uniform function. Thus, we conclude the BR performance for different modulation schemes for additive byte causing noise. Really, and Russian fading channels. Thank you.